So, if you saw the last episode, you know that we are the player of the year for 2024. And if you haven't seen it, well, there's another look at us lifting the trophy. Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of our My Player Career Mode. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos and thank you as well for all of your incredible support. I hope you're doing well, having an awesome day and feeling fantastic. Coming up in today's episode for you, we have got three Bundesliga matches as we face Hertha Berlin before Freiburg and Werder Bremen. And then we move into the month of, uh, is this January? Yeah, January, where we've got Leverkusen, Cologne, but you probably won't get those in today. And you can see later on in the line, or later on down the line, I should say, we've drawn Milan in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So, yeah, that will be an interesting game, but that is one for the future. To add to the Ballon d'Or that we've already won, the Player of the Year for 2024, we are on fire in the Bundesliga. 20 goals in 14 matches. The closest person to us, Sobosloy, with 13 in 14, which is still an incredible record uh, for Dortmund. But right now, it's us who are stealing the show. We're also top of the assist charts as well. So, safe to say, we are having an incredible year. Time now, though, to get into our first game of the day as we welcome Hertha Berlin to our place. There are the two lineups for you on screen. And I'm expecting goals today. Hopefully, we can provide it. So... Let's get into this one. Musiala to Brozovic, to myself. We've got a couple of options over on the left-hand side. We play the ball to Richards, who down the left wing, he's looking for a cross. Atal in the way once, twice. Uh, Richards gets it back, though, and Atal with a challenge. Free kick given, and it'll be a chance for Bayern to put something into the Hertha Berlin box then. What can we do with this? Sai Gankov delivers, there's Brozovic! And it's Bayern who strike after 12 minutes. Lovely free kick routine. And Brozovic gets there on the end of Saigankov's delivery and heads home. And as we see the Bayern fans celebrating, we'll get another look at this free kick routine. Saigankov with the delivery. Brozovic applying the finish. Goalkeeper decided he wanted to maybe come for the ball. But at that point in time, the cross was really, really good to Brozovic. Top corner. And uh, whilst we've got this time as well, just to let you know, this video will probably be out at the later time of 6pm UK time, so apologies for that. But I plan on releasing this on the Sunday for you. And of course, we've got the Carabao Cup final at the earlier time of 2pm UK time. So I want to make sure this video goes out after that for you. But here come Hertha Berlin immediately looking for a response. Oh, it is magical. And it is 1-1 immediately, just like that. What? We were ahead for a matter of two minutes, three minutes. I don't know, but what a strike. Oh, this camera angle won't do it justice. The amount of times I say this about this camera angle. I mean, what a strike. Maybe Neuer doesn't position himself great, as you can see, as he kind of runs to his left instead of diving to begin with. But even so, Nunes, what a goal that is to draw your team level. Four minutes between the two goals, back to all square. Half an hour gone here with Sai Gankov for Bayern. Finding me on the edge of the penalty area, looking to place it. There's the block coming through from Umtiti, who apparently, the referee has said, has used his hand to block it. The ball went through to Komen, who got on the end of that. And I don't know, you know. I don't know, his, his hands are by his side on Titi. I think this is a harsh penalty, but it will be us to take this. Can't remember where I went last time for the last penalty that I took, so I'm going to try and go down the middle, see what we can do. I went for the Penenka. Oh, now I look foolish. Now I look so, so foolish. I should not have tried to chip the keeper. Here is Musiala for Bayern. Five minutes to go until half-time. The score still 1-1. Komen and Musiala combining here, and Komen has it still. Now to Richards. Great overlapping run from Richards. We're waiting in the box for a cross. Atal, I mean, what's he tried to head there? I don't actually know. Musiala with a great chance. And Kragno with a phenomenal save. Atal headed the air. And that left Musiala in space to try and find the shot after he was found by Richards. But Kragno with a brilliant save. Corner ball, Bayern. And this is more like it from us. As Kimmich will deliver into the middle. And Nunes heads away. He is, of course, the goal scorer for Hertha Berlin. That's not a great ball back in, but we will still win it back. Musiala, Komen, Komen, Rice off the bar. Offside flag. Has it gone up? I think so. And Rice is, yeah, offside. So it wouldn't have counted anyway. Close. But he hit the crossbar regardless. Half time here then. 1 1 the scoreline after my missed penalty in which we tried to be cheeky and chip it down the middle. 
Uh, but in terms of what we've done, we have been a team, I would say, slightly on top here. So second half, look to keep doing what we're doing and the goal hopefully will come our way. Musiala, Saigankov, first time back in towards that near post. Zagadou gets there first. Now Saigankov again though, towards Kimmich. Back to Saigankov. He looks for a chip in towards the middle. Braithwaite trying to clear it. And uh, advantage played by the referee, I think, for a handball. But I'm not sure if it was us or them. As Saigankov, that is a great cross. It should have been. It should have been 2-1. I'm having a bit of an off day here, my friends. Tried to cheekily chip the penalty down the middle, missed it. And then there, that should be bread and butter to me. Should be heading that back across goal into that far corner. It should be by and 2-1. Musiala, that is a great ball out wide. Saigankov controls it. Now lifts it in. Um, Titi, it's not a good clearance, but what a save again from Kragno. Here is Rocker towards myself. Now to Nabri. Nabri to me again. There is Musiala. Surely this time around he's not denied. Kragno, though, he must be frustrated with himself because it looked like he was actually going to make the save again. But Musiala, Bayern's hero, 2 1. Come on. And Hertha Berlin haven't really offered much since Nunes got them their goal back as Musiala. Now towards Rocker. We'll see Yala again. Bayern looking for goal number three. I've tried to get it off to Nabri. Here he is, Serge Nabri. Still Nabri. Rocker. Musiala. What are we doing inside the box here? I don't actually know. Nabri kind of chips it in. There's the header. No way has he saved it. There's no way he saved that. I can't believe I haven't scored here today. The three chances I've had. The penalty. The other header. And then this one. To be fair to him, it is kind of straight down the middle. Two minutes added on by the referee, and we are into the second of those two minutes. And there is full time. 2-1 Bayern. Musiala, the match winner. After Brozovic opened up the scoring, Nunez's fantastic effort denying us, or drawing the, uh, the sides level after 16 minutes. Um, but yeah, not a great start for me. I had a couple of chances there that really I should have buried. The main thing, though, is that we did pick up our three points. And as you can see... Eight points clear of Dortmund with Freiburg up next. Team of the year looks like it's uh, shortly to be announced. Um, they have just released the shortlist for the defenders. So I imagine with us winning the uh, player of the year, we probably will be in the team of the year. That's the hope anyway. Next step towards the title for Bayern, it says. And this is Freiburg who find themselves ninth heading into this. Um, there are the two lineups. I've just noticed my stamina is really, really low. And I don't know why that is. But yeah, I noticed during the last match that I didn't have much stamina left towards the end of the game. So might be having to think about missing a match coming up just to make sure we get full fitness back. Anyway, let's get into the game. Dinye, Rice, Freiburg with pretty much everyone behind the ball as Nabry tests the palms of Flecken who makes the save. And the ball was loose, but it's Freiburg who get there first. But this is strong by Bayern. Ref! Like, come on. Egerstein's booked. It'll be a Bayern free kick in a really good position. I don't know who's going to take this. I imagine Luis Alberto will take it. It is Luis Alberto, 27 yards from goal. 15 minutes in, this would be great if we could find a goal. Well, you could put a second goal above that one, and I'm not sure that that would really even test the goalkeeper. Quintilla finding Marapan, and we are approaching the half-time whistle. And there it is from a first half that the best chance we had was from Serge Nabry when he made Fleck and make the save. Other than that, we've struggled to really create a clear-cut chance for us. Great ball from Digne. Kimmich is over on the right. Kimmich, lovely ball into the middle. Surely, I mean, I should be burying that. How has he got there? Why have I not finished it? Nabry might do that, though, and he will do that. But I look so, so off the pace. Like, oh, I've got all the goal to aim at and somehow I hit it straight at the defender. Like, that's not good for me. Maybe I need a rest. Maybe I literally just have to take a game out and then recharge the batteries, if you will. Thankfully, though, we've got Serge Nabry who gives Bayern the lead here after we've come back out for the second half. Yeah, fantastic from Nabry. Not great from me. And it is 1-0 Bayern. Here is Komen. Now Alberto. Alberto for Bayern. Out to Nabry. Nabry with a good control, finds Kimmich. Kimmich, Nabry, Alberto, saved by Flecken, but honestly, it was straight at him from Luis Alberto. Bayern corner. Freiburg not created a single shot yet, so I don't want them to have one and score it. Meanwhile, Alberto's had five on his own for Bayern today. So, yeah, um, that shows you how dominant we have been here. 
yet the scoreline is just only 1-0. Coleman with a great ball through. Brozovic pulling it back. There's the chance. And there's the goal. Come on. Feel like that's been coming in an episode that we've not really been at our best so far. First time finish. Great ball back from Brozovic through the legs of the defender. Top corner, right-hand side. 2-0 Bayern. Three points secured. And finally, the goal as well that I have been craving in today's episode. 21 and 16. Wasn't really sure I'd get one today, but you just got to keep going, keep grinding, and hoping the chance will come. And it did just that. Thank you, Brozovic, for the assist. And it looks like Bayern are going to register two wins from two in the first two matches of today's episode. And honestly, we've only really given away two shots, I think, against our first two opponents. Hertha Berlin was Nunes when he... Um, he sent that fantastic effort into the back of our net as this is a chance here for Freiburg. Rossi in the way, clearing it, and that is full time. Finishes 2-0 here on to Werder Bremen we go. Werder Bremen are second from bottom at the moment in the Bundesliga, so this should be another three points to us. There are the two lineups, and uh, yeah, we've got quite a big gap between games after this, so that is when I'm going to use my time to take a rest. I am going to play this one. Thought about maybe sitting this one out, but yeah, we'll play. And worst case scenario, we ask for a substitution if we need it, but I think we'll be okay for the full 90 minutes here. Rice's ball forward. We'll find Sai Gankov. He's got two options to his left. One of them is me. And here's Musiala. Musiala with a strike. Pavelenka with a save. And that is the first opportunity of this game for Bayern Munich. Musiala testing Pavelenka, but he was equal to it. We'll say, Werder Bremen are looking to take the game to us, though. Um... Inside 15 minutes, they've not sat behind the ball. They are committing players to the attack and looking to try and take the game to us. So this could be a very, very interesting match here, even though they're second from bottom as Rice and Kimmich combine. Kimmich into the middle for myself. Off towards Brozovic, who tried to slide it to the on-running Musiala, who surely would have made it 1-0. But the pass was just a little bit in front of him. Still, though, Bayern put the pressure on. Side Gankov to myself. And in the end, I overran it into the defender. Verda come away with it as Raps ball forward. Goller on the chase. Wins his header. Rossi's there though. No, he's not. Because Gruev gets there first. Dabur! Werder Bremen strike! It's unbelievable! That was a counter-attack of its very, very best from Werder Bremen. I was just saying as the corner, we had moments before. They were looking to take the game to us. And how about that, ladies and gentlemen? The Burr strikes. Bayern stunned, Werder won, Bayern nil. Gruev, De Boer, Gruev again. And Werder Bremen now feeding off this momentum. De Boer trying to get the ball through and he does and Goller smashes it over the bar. Tell you what, that might have been 2-0. Bayern need to wake up and wake up quickly. Well, 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 who would have expected this? Half-time whistle, it's Bayern nil, Werder Bremen won. Musiala trying to find Richards, who's kept the ball in play brilliantly here. And what about that for a pass from Richards as he gets us a chance to strike it? And it's Bayern 1, Werder 1. We just needed that one moment. What a play from Richards, though. Keeps the ball in play, and that pass was delightful to set us through. And then, when it's the weaker right foot, remember, we've got that five-star weak foot now. Werder, you've got to be careful. We shifted onto the right side and just absolutely smash it towards goal. And it's just the sheer pace that beats Pavelenka because the ball's not in the top corner, but he can't get close to it. 1-1, one, one. Bayern, build on this, please. Corner kick for us to defend. It's out to this edge of the penalty area. Gruev now back into the middle. Richards will apply the block for Bayern to stop that going through to Neuer's goal. And now, chance to break away. You can see, though, the stamina bar is not with us, but away from Assis. And we are still going here, and still going, and still going. There's Nabry, there's Saikankov! Bayern 2, Werder 1, and just like they did, Bayern counter with precision. And if you take a look at where we've run that from, it's mental to say the very least. And Nabry may have shot himself, I wanted him to shoot actually, but he held his composure, just laid it across, and Saikankov's there. Oh, we've had to fight hard for this. But we've got the lead after 1-0 down. It's 2-1 Bayern. And to let you know as well, there is a scoreline that's going in our favour elsewhere. Dortmund 1, Mönchengladbach 1. Dortmund, remember, 8 points behind us in the title race so far. So if it stays like that, we're about to increase that further. 
Um, but there is still a bit of time here for Dortmund as well to try and get themselves back in front. Just added time remaining as we win it back. That should be it here. It is full time. What a win that one is. 2-1. Not for the fact of how I thought the game was going to go at the start, but just how we had to dig deep and find the goals. Because it was a great pass to set us up for the first one from Richards. And then we smashed it into the back of the net. And then the second one to run it all the way down the line. Play it back inside as we celebrate with Richards as well. And yeah, that was a tough win, but we got the win. I did say there was still time for Dortmund and they did get the win in the end. 3-2 over Mönchengladbach and pace setter. Uh, I want to see the team of the week, as you can see. Sorry, team of the year. Um, 23rd of the 12th was when the midfielders shortlist. It's January the 8th that the team of the year will be announced. So what I'll do is I will skip towards January the 8th and we'll see if we have made it into the team of the year. And that way, are we shortlisted? When is the shortlist for the strikers? There it is. Uh, we are shortlisted with Salah, Mane, Jota and myself being included in the list of forwards. So let's get to the 8th of January, which is when the announcement is made. Uh, transfer offer from Manchester United. Appreciate it, but no thank you. I am setting records here at Bayern. I intend to stay till the end of the season at the very least, if not further. And we have made it past the 8th. Team of the year has been announced as that United offer was £195 million, but we've rejected that. Are we going to be in it? What do you reckon? I think we've got to be right. If you win the player of the year, you have to be in the team of the year. Let's see. We've made it. It's official. We are the player of the year and we are in the team of the year. Goalkeeper is Courtois from Real Madrid. Back four, Alexander-Arnold, Varane, Stones and Lodi. John Stones playing at Man United. So he switched City for United, um, which is Liverpool, United and Real Madrid in there. United, Sancho, uh, Kimmich from Bayern, Casimiro from Real Madrid, Rashford from Man United. Myself and Mbappe, who's still at PSG, surprisingly, are the front two. Yeah, so uh, we, we are in the team of the year. And that feels good as well to be able to say we are player of the year and in the team of the year. Regardless, though, I want to say a massive thank you for watching this episode. That will be where we leave it today, my friends. We've got Leverkusen coming up and Cologne to follow that with Hertha Berlin in the quarterfinals of the Dutch Pokal. And if we've time, I'm probably going to sim that game there because um, it is against the team sat bottom of the league. And I'll probably need to rest ahead of AC Milan in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And that is the aim, right? Bundesliga champions, Dutch Pokal champions, Champions League champions. Although, what's happened to my uh, manager rating? Why am I so low? Let me get some training done. And uh, hopefully, we'll be back ready to play against Leverkusen, provided my training goes well. Don't know what happened there. But until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And I will catch you all again very, very soon. Until next time, adios.